Good morning. This is Katie Breck with Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District with your conservation report. Happy April Fool's Day, CHASM listeners. April 1st might give anxiety to some people, but for me, it's an extra special day. My second son was born seven years ago on April 1st. Happy birthday, Chase. Having a spring baby was perfect. The nesting syndrome and the spring cleaning lined up for one massive cleaning event. I often wonder, when people hear the word spring, what do you think of? Do you think of big muddy messes? Robins returning? Or maybe field work? Do you get excited for spring? Or do you think of all the work that needs to be done? Personally, when I hear the word spring, I think of spring cleaning and gearing up for the lawn and garden season. With the snow cover gone for some time now, I am ready for some serious spring cleaning. How you care for all the green and growing things in your yard can have a big impact on and how much waste your household creates and also on Minnesota's air and water quality. From grass trimmings and leaves to pesticides and water, the eco impact of your lawn and garden can be significant. Healthy lawns and gardens can be maintained in ways that produce less waste. A healthy lawn and garden can also naturally resist weeds and pests. You don't need a lot of chemicals to keep your yard looking green. Learn to read the signs and find out what re is really wrong with your plants. Solve your lawn and garden problems by applying some brain power before you use pesticides and herbicides. Mow, fertilize, and rake glass. You don't have to spend so much time maintaining your lawn. Doesn't that sound incredible? This is no April Fool's joke. Mowing, watering, fertilizing, and raking it less and using no pesticides may be your way to a healthy, environmentally friendly yard. Mow your grass to a height of about two and a half to three inches. This is the single most important thing you can do to improve the health of your lawn. By keeping your grass longer, the roots grow deeper and they can reach more water during dry periods. Longer grass also shades the surface soil, the soil surface making it harder for weeds to get established. Leave your grass clippings on the lawn. Grass clippings can provide the equivalent of one application of fertilizer a year. Sweep your sidewalks, driveways, or streets though so clippings don't pollute our nearby lakes, streams, or stormwater drains. Also, don't forget to test your soil to determine the right mix of fertilizer for your lawn. Another tip would be to wait before watering. In Minnesota, most grass can survive without watering, although it may enter a dormant brown stage during the summer. Watering only when it's rained for at least seven days. You don't need to water on a routine basis. Also, there's tips to reduce evaporation so you're getting the most water to your plant. It is recommended to water early in the morning water close to the ground, water slowly, deeply, and less frequently. Root growth is influenced by water depth and the time of the year. Frequent shallow watering that keeps surface soil wet encourages sh shallow root growth, which is greater proneness to certain diseases and reduces stress tolerance. Also, remember to only water grass. Make sure water is not being lost by landing on or running off hard services. Another tip for spring, aerate your lawn. If your soil is compacted or there is a significant thatch buildup, you can do this by using a lawn aerator. Use the type that removes the small core of soil from the ground and places them on the lawn surface. Leave that core to decompose naturally, contributing to a decrease in thatch while the holes poked into the ground helps improve soil aeration for healthier root systems. Listen to your weeds. What are your weeds telling you? Weeds can tell you something about what's wrong with your lawn. Take the time to identify your weeds and treat them appropriately to strengthen and improve your lawn. A 
weed-free lawn is not necessarily a healthy one. For example, Creeping Charlie. If you see Creeping Charlie on your lawn, it may indicate the site is too shady or the soil is poorly drained. And those pesky dandelions may indicate that the grass is too thin. Another worthy spring cleaning tip, watch for the Stearns County Household Hazardous Waste Mobile Unit. Unwanted chemicals are considered household hazardous waste when their disposal poses an environmentally, environmental or a health threat. Disposing of household hazardous waste in the trash, down the drain, or on the ground can contaminate our water and soil, including your drinking water. Products accepted at household hazardous waste collection days include adhesives, aerosols, automotive chemicals, cleaners, fuels, fluorescent light bulbs, garden chemicals, mercury, mothballs, paints, poisons, pool chemicals, roofing tar, sealers, and solvents. To locate a collection day near you, visit the Stearns County website environmental recycling and waste disposal page. You can even sign up for email updates. This has been Katie Breath with Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District with your conservation report. Happy spring cleaning and happy birthday to my son Chase. I have something extra special planned for your special day today. Get your work gloves on, it's spring cleaning day.